am I trying to say? I've heard it's better to use the comments because it's easier to level them up than it is for the epics. But I guess it depends how lucky you are. All right, let's start pulling. I guess depending on how leveled, you may want to use your common or rares. There you go. Like, I mean, this would do. We want epics though. How many pulls is it going to take out of whatever we have? A hundred and something. <laughs> How many pulls <laughs> to get epics? 158. All right. This is Cookie Run Kingdom. You may have heard of the game before. Let's go. More of those, please. All right, watches. I see you. I see you. So you're saying the three main is the jelly watch, the whistle, and the scroll. Well, we finally got the scroll, which is nice. That was our first one. I didn't have that. Keep in mind, we're pretty new into this, so I appreciate the advice. Do you actually? Yeah, sure. I'm, uh, I've am i actually been making YouTube videos on Cookie Run because it's been a gotcha. I have actually like, so, so this is how it started. Listen, this is how it started. I was like, what other games can we play? I need something else just to change things up a little bit. Try something else, you know. As I've mentioned before, I'm constantly downloading new games and playing them for a bit and then seeing how I like it and which ones I want to make content with. And Cookie Run is just, it's stuck. It's stuck so quickly that I was like, okay, wait, this is actually like low-key kind of fun. And then I brought it to you guys, so enjoy me together yeah no rush no rush appreciate it though thank you no it's got to be a game you actually enjoy maxi it's it's like when you're making content you have to i've always said like you have to enjoy what you're actually doing um because if you're looking at it that way then why would i start a whole second cozy channel right that channel's not monetized yet at all it's just making content. I'm enjoying making content on it. So it's all about like, you have to like what you do, I think. And then it doesn't really feel like work. So you have to at least enjoy it. Yeah, it probably won't be for a bit, to be honest. It, ta it takes a lot to get to that point, but. My favorite game. Oh, I don't even know. That's hard to answer. That's hard to answer because like games have different genres. I have been playing so many different games. I know. <laughs> I know it's wild. Um, <laughs> even today, honestly, I was like, I don't even know which one I want to play today because I have so many things I want to do. I even wanted to play some Valorant at some point. Um, but then I was like, oh, I should do my summons because I've been hanging on to these treasures. And every day that I see them when I'm in game, I'm like, I just want to, I want to pull these. And I was like, no, we'll wait and see. This is good. I'll have some uh, stuff I can actually level up. Yes. That's what we want. We want the watches. Whatever I have the rate up for is what we're trying to get. My first game console, the first game console I got that I was able to like pay for and actually buy games for it and stuff was a PS2. Growing up, like I had like N64 and stuff, um, Game Boy Color, but one of my most memorable consoles is gonna be a PS2 because I think that's really what got me into gaming. And I have the most like memories with that one and the most memories with different games in that one. Um, but it, it is really where I like fully got into like gaming. Um, give me the full experience, full immersive, all of it. What games did I play on the PS2? Um, I had a few of them. One of my favorites was Boulder Skate. And then I had... Oh, I had a few. That's my most memorable. I had a game called Dark Cloud, which was really fun. Um, Soul Calibur was another. Scroll, nice. 78 treasures to go. 
same CC Monster Hunter, Final Fantasy 7. Yep. Yep, Final Fantasy. Top of that list for me? Yeah, it's just that console for me. It was like... Yeah. Bought my PS2 specifically for F back in the day. I love that. First PS2 game. Oh, we have that in common. <laughs> Soul Calibur. Yeah. Yeah, enjoy a little Soul Calibur in there. GTA, of course. How could I forget Grand Theft Auto? Of course. Although, back in the day, Grand Theft Auto and stuff, like, you know when you could do cheats? Um, and there was this one mission I couldn't finish, so I used the, the in-game cheats, and then it locked my account. I so said I used too many in-game cheats. Yep. Good old Grand Theft Auto, though. It was, one, it was such a hard mission. I struggled with it for so long. So difficult. If you played Grand Theft Auto, you understand. It was a stupid helicopter mission. It was so hard to do. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you play The Sims, same thing. They'd have the little cheat codes you type in for unlimited money. Yeah, fam. Yeah, that's probably one of my, I think, like, most memorable consoles, if you were to ask me. That's the one I go with. Is your favorite on PS2? Love it. Well, I am glad I'm getting epic, like, epics I didn't actually have, but... I'll take it. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Grew up with PS1. My father bought when I was four. Oh. PS Vista. Oh, I didn't have a PS Vista. I had a PSP though, and I really I loved my PSP. That was one of my favorite handheld consoles. PSP. Had the little discs. Oh, that was magic. Love that thing. Um, I don't think I understand, like, I don't think I understand the question. PSP is awesome, it is, yeah. I think that's part of why I like the Switch so much, though, now. Because the Switch brings me back to, like, PSP, but that's, like, the one that I kind of grew up with that I liked. So I, I, that's why, like, Switch feels so comfortable, because it reminds me so much of it. Yeah, sorry, I don't think I understand your question, but welcome! Welcome, welcome. Uh, favorite cookie is Sea Fairy. I don't have that one, actually. I'm pretty new into Cookie Run um, in terms of my summons, so yeah, I don't have that one yet. Hopefully, I can get her. Game Boy with Pokemon games, like blue and trading card games. Nice. You have the cookie Sea Fairy? So lucky. Ooh, back to backs and a new one. I'll take the new. All right, three more of the times five. Squid ink, sea fairy moonlight, espresso and peppermint cookie. Oh, I have moonlight. Nice, nice. The gift on Pokemon Go, hmm? The ice one for the Vable Legends. Oh, you're so lucky with the Legends, though. The squirrel with the sunglasses. <laughs> nice. I mean, I'll take the watches. All right, my last eight pulls. That's cool. Wasn't quite what I was hoping for, but... Want the golden cheese cookie? The 10 plus 17? Yeah, I only did uh, 28 for it today. I didn't get it. That's not much. Like, I'll, I'll hopefully get it, but... My starter was fire. All right, last one. Nice. All right. That is what? 158? No, we had more than that. 100 and something treasures looks like 
<laughs> so not bad. These are the ones I'm going to focus on then. Appreciate the advice. We're going to be trying to get the jelly watch whistle and these scrolls. So give the video a thumbs up so you get some luck on your treasure pulls. Subscribe down below so you don't miss out on future cookie run videos because more of those are going to be coming out. And join the Discord if you haven't so we can uh, talk all things cookie run if you are in the dark cacao server, which we've established now is apparently not as common. Then let us know you can join our guild at the infamous crew. Okay, that's it for me for today. So bye. Next level.